The Tatas will officially take charge of Air India. Senior officials of the Tata Group will also be present for the official handover and transition that will take place tomorrow. The government has put out final legal notifications on Air India agreements, share purchase and transfer of assets. The Air India board will resign today to make way for the new team. As part of the Tata's takeover, meal upgradation on some domestic and international flights as suggested by Taj Sats, a Tata Group-led airline catering company, will kick off. The airline, in its earlier communication to its employees, had also informed cabin crew to prepare for Full enhanced meal plans are starting tomorrow. Cabin crew have also been instructed to turn up smartly dressed, refer to passengers as guests and play out a special audio message by Ratan Tata, the new owner on flight. These are some of the changes that have been planned ahead of the big handover. Well, the uh, formalities have been completed. The Air India disinvestment transaction is closed. The shares have been transferred to the Dallas, which is a successful bidder. Consideration amount has been received. And so now the new uh, owners are the Dallas. Was the consider that full 2,700 crores was given? Exactly? Yes, please. Entire 2,700 crore has been uh, received by the government. We have transferred the shares. Entire 15,300 crore of debt, which was to be retained, that has also been accepted. So the, all the uh, processes are complete. So has the new board taken over? New board is just uh, taken, uh, doing a meeting now. Okay. So we have handed them over. And do you have know who the new MD is and uh, who this new CEO is? The makeup of the new board. Huh? How many members? You will, will, you will come to know. They will. You will come to know. Sir, yeah. How many members will be there on the board, sir? In the new board? You will come to know because they will be, I think, separately yeah. deciding. The operations under Tata begin from today, tomorrow. Today, just now, you know, when we as as we speak, uh, they are the new owners. So from today onwards, the uh, government of India has no stake anymore with Air India. It's all over in terms of. Uh, uh, you know any any control with Air India uh, from from uh, from this moment? That's right. Sir, so currently, and how many employees are we talking about that uh, Tata's will have to take on board? About twelve thousand. About twelve thousand. So they'll have to retain them for at least one year. Affirmative, correct. Sir, एक बार हिंदी में बोल दीजिए सर, एक बार हिंदी में बोल दीजिए सर, एक बार. आज जो Air India की जो विनिवेश प्रक्रिया आरंभ हुई थी, वो आज समाप्त होती है. Uh, उसमें uh, जो सक्सेसफुल बिडर टैलिस को दिया गया था शेयर परचेज एग्रीमेंट जो साइन हुआ था उसके हिसाब से सभी जो कंडीशंस हैं उनको फुलफिल करते हुए uh, जो आज कंसिड्रेशन uh, अमाउंट 2,700 करोड़ का शेयर प्राइस के लिए और 15,300 करोड़ डेट रिटेंशन के लिए इसके बाद uh, भारत सरकार ने अपने 100 परसेंट शेयर्स टैलिस के नाम कर दिए हैं और वो अब नई मैनेजमेंट में है उसके बारे में मैंने पहले भी आपको पूरा विस्तार में बताया था तो आज तो मैं ये बता रहा हूँ यदि आपको ज्यादा इन्फॉर्मेशन चाहिए होगी मैं बात ये पोजिशन ये क्वेश्चन आप उनसे पूछेंगे Follow me joining us on this. Follow me. Uh, a big day, of course, for the Tatas uh, as they look to take over and uh, really bring the bring back the story. Uh, you know their their journey with regards to aviation, but a lot of key changes also uh, that are being announced. Uh, we already have a hint of a few to kickstart with, but take us through what all you have uh, learned. Well, uh, we are of course uh, learning that you know there will be obviously many transitional changes uh, that will happen as of course uh, the airline uh, uh, you know reflects its new ownership uh, starting tomorrow uh, itself uh, but today itself in fact uh, you know in terms of the meal service plans there were some changes uh, that were being effected on certain sectors of flights between Mumbai Delhi uh, between Mumbai Bangalore Mumbai Abu Dhabi New uh, Newark uh, and also uh, London Heathrow uh, in terms of full uh, service uh, plans there's obviously a lot in terms of uh, you know the service uh, which will be provided on flight as well uh, 
to economy class to first class to business class all of that is being uh, put into place as well all of that has been uh, in fact communicated to the cabin crew over circulars uh, over the past uh, couple of days as well uh, also what we learn is that there will be an audio message from mr ratan tata which will be played out in flight as well uh, as uh, uh, you know air india of course the uh, reflects the change which has just happened uh, a short while ago uh, just a short while ago you of course played out uh, that for our viewers as well uh, deepam secretary mr tuhin kanta pande he spoke and of course uh, mr n uh, chandrashekharan as well he spoke as well saying that it was a good day uh, for uh, the tata group because air india has come back home he said of course he wouldn't divulge much in terms of the makeup of the new board the new board in fact abha is currently meeting behind me right now at the airlines house which is the air india head quarters uh, but he wouldn't say much as to uh, you know whether there would be a new ceo whether it would be an expat ceo uh, we do not know any details we're waiting to of course find that out but uh, yes uh, that big moment uh, something which was envisaged for a very very long time especially when the process was kick started with the in principle approval uh, that the cabinet gave for air india's divestment in 2017 that has come to a conclusion today All right, thanks sir for bringing us up to speed, Polomi, and and yes, we will be tracking that closely. Uh, as as we mentioned, the old board has now officially resigned today, so the official handing over taking place, and tomorrow onwards we have an all new Air India under the Tatas, and we'll continue to bring you uh, more on some of those key changes, the board composition, and uh, you know more information as they of course release it. Tatas have taken over Air India from the government of India and this acquisition marks the return of Air India to the Tata fold after 68 years. The Tata group founded Air India as Tata Airlines in October 1932. Take a look at the history behind this story. A bruised and battered maharaja returning to the fold of the group which crowned him 89 years ago. The journey home has been turbulent with Air India having lost the top positions it once held in world airline rankings. The ownership of Air India will be transferred to the Tatas by December. Tatas who founded the airline in July 1930 bid 18000 crore rupees of which 15300 crore will go to retire a part of air india debt and the rest 2700 crore will be paid as cash to the government air india has investments these will be hived off so talis private limited which is basically tata sons spv has emerged as a successful bidder for the sale of equity share holding of goi in air india in ai excel which is a subsidiary of air india as a part of this transaction and 50% of air india in ai sats which is another joint venture of air india along with management control for the government it is a case of third time lucky the first attempt to sell air india to singapore airlines in 2001 failed due to political opposition the second attempt was aborted in 2018 when indigo pulled out of the race With every sale the government gets rid of a company losing 20 crore rupees a day. Air India has been in red every year since 2007-2008 and currently has accumulated losses of over 71000 crore rupees. The debt burden on the airline is 61 and a half thousand crore and the government says it has spent over 1 lakh 10000 crore over the past 11 years to keep Air India afloat. The transaction does not include non-core assets including land and building valued at uh, 14,718 crore. These are not being part of the transaction. These are being transferred to Government of India's AIAHL. It includes uh, Nariman Point, Air India headquarters here, some other buildings. There are uh, subsidiaries where A A Air India has investments. For Ratan Tata, himself a qualified pilot, it's a dream come true and a win-win situation. Clearly expressed in an emotional social media post, remembering the genesis of the airline under J.R.D. Tata and expressing hope that the group will now have the opportunity to regain the image and reputation it enjoyed in the early years. 
Not only does Tata get Air India, it gets full ownership of the budget Air India Express as well. And also 50% stake in ground handling service of Air India SATs. Air India, along with its subsidiaries, has a fleet of 172 aircraft, 87 of them owned and rest on lease. More importantly, it has landing and parking slots in some of the busiest international airports in London, New York, Singapore, Hong Kong and Dubai. There are also many unused slots in Russia, former Soviet Union countries and Bangladesh, which the new owner can exploit. Add to this, the trained pilots, technicians and the other staff Air India brings with it. Well, and the deal's done. It is after 67 years that the Maharaja Air India lands on Tata's runway. The government has promised that it is by December 2021 they're looking to close the deal and all the concerns of employees and retired employees will be taken care of. Karishma Sadani, Business Today, Delhi.